We're almost all told that we have an epidemic of SARS-CoV-2 or COVID-19, but that is really not true. What we indeed have an epidemic of is metabolic inflexibility, metabolic ill health, insulin resistance, the ability to seamlessly transition from burning fats to sugar as our primary fuel. And over 90% of us are in this state. And when you are, your risk and likelihood of acquiring these types of infections increases dramatically. The real pandemic is um, poor metabolic health, or as you say, metabolic inflexibility. I had become aware you know, as early on as sort of March when we were getting data from China and from Italy that there was a clear link between, you know, conditions essentially related to excess body fat in very simple terms, defined, you know, as poor metabolic health, had very strong associations with worse outcomes from COVID-19. And we're talking about conditions like type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, heart disease, and of course, obesity, and that data kept emerging. And it was very clear that link was so clear and it wasn't just out of the blue. Listen, there's a chance at some point we're all gonna get this virus and we wanna make sure that we're in the best position to be able to deal with it so that we don't get sick from it when it happens. One of the bits of advice to start with is, is I tell people what they should cut out is ultra processed food and low quality carbs. That is really where we need to start. And, and I think if they cut that out, then they will also automatically re, you know, be reducing their, their refined carbs, their sugar, the omega-6 oils, you know, all of those things are going to be, you know, uh, significantly reduced from their diet. Getting a good sleep and reducing stress. So I think combining all those together, that synergy of the diet and, and all the other lifestyle factors has quite profound and rapid effects on health. So that's where we need to change the narrative. <laughs>